the real reason why food stamps and SNAP benefits have been cut. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome, people, to another episode of Life is Chess. It's your boy, Retro Rob. Now, before we get started today, um, I want to I wanna talk to y'all and uh, make something abundantly clear. Um, when you come on this channel, I ask that you please like, comment, subscribe, and press the bell icon. That's the bell icon right beside the subscribe button to receive all new notifications when new content is dropping. You know, because I always say a lot of the uh, videos that I drop, you know, uh, might not be your forte, but I guarantee you, you know, one of them will. You know, I drop, you know, uh, a multitude of videos on different topics. You know, so, you know, I might talk about sports. You might not be a sports guy or a sports lady. And I might talk about politics. You might be a politics person. You know, you might not be a politics person. You might be a sports person. But, um, yeah, make sure you do that when you come in. You know, press the like button. Hit the subscribe button and comment. Give me your opinion. You know, uh, whether it's uh, discrim whether you're critiquing me, you know, or you know, uh, criticizing me, or whether you're giving, you know, showing love. You know, it's all, you know, love at the end of the day. You know, but let's get it. You know, I was sitting in the living room, right, and a thought came across my mind. I notice every time there appears to be some kind of unity forming amongst the people, or some of us seem to have woken up, so to speak, to what's really going on in the world. The higher superiors cause a distraction, throwing us off course. For example, things like the Great Depression, things like the World Trade bombings, things like crack cocaine, K2 and all types of drugs and alcohol, sports, music, acting, etc. All forms of entertainment used to distract us from what's really going on. While we're busy worrying about those things, like, no, like most notable, excuse me, the government is claiming to have ran out of money for the families and those individuals who receive food stamps uh, TANF SNAP benefits at least for the month of February as Congress tries to find out a way to gather some funds I also notice how they always make an asserted effort to do these type of things at the expense of African Americans and the lower class in general like most recently we had two separate situations involving two of the world's most biggest icon and figures amongst the African-American community in entertainment in general. And Bill Cosby and R. Kelly. Bill Cosby, who has already been charged for rape and sexual assault on minors, and R. Kelly, who is currently under investi investigation as we speak. I notice why we're so caught up in these things and also a multitude of other things. The higher superiors have conveniently brought this government shutdown to our attention. Mighty strange, ain't it? I'm going to tell y'all what's really going on. For those of y'all who don't know, y'all remember when Donald Trump, the President of the United States, promise to put up the wall uh, blocking the immigrants from crossing the borders well the Trump supporters right now are pressing Trump out to make good on his word of building that border building that wall to block the border so the immigrants won't be able to come across now keep in mind Trump presidency is winding down Check me out, check me out. So now, not only is he trying to make a good impression on his current supporters, but he's also hoping to get another term as president. Now I know a lot of you are wondering, how does you know, Trump get in another term 
correlates with, with I'm talking about about the government shutdown well it's quite simple you know you're going to need money right to build that wall right you're going to need money to build that wall so where do you think take a good guess people where do you think that money is coming from not from the upper class never came from the upper class if you look back in history it never came from the upper class never came from the middle class exactly it's coming from the lower class it's coming from the poor it's coming at the expense of black African Americans yes yes you see what I'm saying that's how it correlates that's the reason for you see what I'm saying the government shutdown that's the reason for you know the uh, current money uh, uh, funds that they don't have for uh, food stamps TANF you see what I'm saying and so forth and so on they need money to put together to build that wall you see what I'm saying this is the world that's why I tell y'all you know to you know come and support the channel to listen to what I got to say because you know you have no excuse when long as my channel is here you have no excuse you know to not know what's going on in the world you know I don't listen to news this is news right here this is sports and news if you want to hear what the real that's going on in sports and you want to hear the real that's going on in news you come here you see what I'm saying all that stuff we watching you know is 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 a little bit of the truth mixed with exaggeration and fabrication you see what I'm saying but that's what that's what's going on people you know as a whole they're distracting us with this whole and notice how with the R. Kelly stuff and with the Bill Cosby stuff, they is a is a is an effort, it's a collective effort by the media. You see what I'm saying? Places like the Breakfast Club, places like you see what I'm saying, a funk flex, places like, you know, all over around, people that do media are talking about, even celebrities, different celebrities are coming out mentioning R. Kelly now. You notice when they do something. They're they're giving they're giving code. I'm talking about the celebrities. They're giving code by the higher superiors to all come in and work together on this distraction. To try to distract us from the stuff they're doing through the back door, and that's the government shutdowns, and that's you know all type of money. You know, United States owe other uh, states and stuff like that, and cities. You see what I'm saying? That's all the stuff, you know, that's the fact that, you know, sooner rather than later, we might be having a war. But will you know? You're going to be those main ones talking about, oh my God, what I'm going to do? But I'm, I got kids, I got this, I got that. If you'd have been listening and, and stop falling for the okie doke, stop falling for the distractions that they putting in your face. You see what I'm saying? That's what's going on, people. What's going on is they're secretly, that's why they say, you didn't hear them say um, after the month of January, there won't be any more food stamps. They're saying maybe, maybe not, and they're definitely saying, you know, for the month of February. That's because they're trying to build some type of. Um, um, uh, what's that? They're trying to build some type of get herself a grace period and build some type of distance between how long they'll need to, to gather up funds that they normally will put in food stamps, TANF, you know, uh, paying the, their workers. They're trying to gather that money to help build this wall to block out the um, immigrants. That's exactly what's going on. You know? But, you know, like I always say, man, you have to do your research. You have to do some, some deep, in-depth searching on what's going on. Going on. Me, um, I do that. I do research. But I'm also blessed with gift and intuition. And I also am blessed with... You know, a lot of us have different gifts that we're blessed with. 
I'm blessed with knowing how to, um, with great um, anticipation and great um, reflexes. You know, my reflexes are, are amazing, tremendous, but you know, I'm very instinctive. I know what's going on. You know, like I always say, I don't have to be there to be there. You know, I could tell you, you could show me a picture of your friends and I could tell you how each one of your friends act and I don't even know them. That's a gift that I was blessed with. We all have our own special gift. Like, I don't have to know this Trump situation. I just put two and two together. I see what's going on, along with doing research, you know. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't doing no research. Oh, I'm doing research, but it's, it, you got to put two and two together. What's going on is they're doing what the elites are doing, what they normally do. And that's, you know, cause a distraction on the expense of African-Americans to try to do what they wanted to do in the first place. You think I'm lying? What is Bill Cosby? I'm pretty sure he's an African-American, right? What is R. Kelly? I'm pretty sure he's an African-American, right? And who are, who are the most, I know it's every race, but who is the most race that's involved with what's going on about these two African-Americans and Bill Cosby and R. Kelly? Other African-Americans. So you distract African-Americans with African-Americans, so-called. And, we, and, and, that's, and that's great distraction for a plan, you know, to underhandedly do us dirty while distracting us. That's why I say, while we're looking at all these other things with R. Kelly and, you know, um, Bill Cosby, you know, and they're talking about how these girls have been tricked and manipulated. Ironically, we don't even know that we're the ones that's being tricked and manipulated, man. Again, it's your boy Retro Rob, man. Don't forget to like comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon to receive all new notifications when new content is dropping. One, peace.